Hello, Randy K7AGE. This is my second video on the 10 meter dipole. In this video, I'll show you how to check it out using the MFJ259. Uh, I have a 269 antenna analyzer. Oh, and if you like this video, I have many videos. Please press the subscribe button and I would appreciate a thumbs up if you found this video useful. And you can also follow me on Twitter uh, at K7AGE and also on Google Plus. Uh, plus K7AGE. So I'm not going to show you all the details about putting the antenna up. I've uh, marked with some tape on the wire at the 8 foot 3 inch area, which is where we calculated to be the correct length for the antenna. You can just pass the wire through the insulator and wrap the wire back around on itself. So no sense cutting it. Remember we made it long and uh, no, no cutting, no soldering. Just wrap it back around on itself. I like to use this braided survey line. It's, uh, it's not twisted, so it doesn't twist apart. And the bright colors are useful, especially if you're at a temporary location or like field day, to let people know that there's a line up in the air. So that's what I'm going to be using today is this uh, purple surveyor's line. So I installed my antenna into a couple trees near the house. And I just threw the line up with the nut and pulled the antenna up, attach it with the coax. And with the uh, 10 meter antenna, you don't have to be super high. 17 feet up in the air is a half wavelength, so that'll do good. And also you wanna be careful that you're not putting up the antenna near any power lines for safety or near your house with gutters or anything that may interact. So having it out in the clear up 17 feet should work well for you. Okay, I have my MFJ antenna analyzer connected to the dipole. And uh, let's turn it on and see where it's resonant. Okay, I have the meter running and our target frequency for the antenna was 28.3, but look at the SWR is 2.6, 2.5. So we're way off. So where do, is the antenna resonant? I go up in frequency, it's worse. If I go down in frequency, watch the meter here dip. Right there. So at 26.6 is where we're resonant. So it's low in frequency means the antenna is long and we have to shorten the antenna. Now let's figure out how much. So let's review our original work. The target frequency was 28.3 and when we divided by 468, the overall length needed to be 16 and a half feet. Divided by two is basically eight and a quarter feet, which is eight feet three inches or a total of 99 inches. Now the way we can figure out the new length is take the current resonant frequency, divide it by the target frequency, multiply it times the length. So if we do that, we take the new frequency, the current resonant frequency of 26.6, divided by 28.3 times 99 inches, makes the new length 93 inches, or subtract six inches from each end. So now we're gonna shorten up the dipole. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is unwrap the wire from around itself and I'm just going to hold my finger there and I'm going to shorten it up by six inches. So six inches is here so I'm going to pull that in and bend and now that's where I'm going to wrap it around itself. And I do this on both ends of the dipole. So now we have the antenna shortened up and reconnected. And you can see the SWR at 26.6 has gone up quite a bit. If I turn the frequency up and look for a dip, it's right there at 27.9, let's call it 28, which is the bottom of the technician band, bottom of the 10 meter band, up at 28.3. We were, um, it's about 1.3. Uh, 1.5 depending on which meter you read and that's good enough radios will work fine into that that SWR up at 28.5 the upper end of the technician band it's 1.4 uh, maybe about 1.6 so somewhere around 1.5 and your radio will work fine so the antenna is still resonant just a little bit low in frequency um, which means it's slightly long and if you went back and readjusted it probably by about an inch on each end, it would probably bring it more into the resonant within the technician area. But 
it's good enough. It'll work. Now let's take a look at it with an SWR meter and a radio. I have my FT817 transceiver connected up to this old swan, this SWR-3 meter. This is probably 40 or 50 years old. Um, maybe uh, there may be some CB meters that look basically the same thing. It has two coax connectors. One is labeled the transmitter, so this cable goes to the back of the radio. And this other cable here goes off to the antenna. So the way you use one of these is that you put it into the forward or the calibrate position and transmit. I have the radio set for packet mode because that will put out a, a full 5 watt signal. And when you key up the transmitter, you adjust the calibration pot, and this is kind of dirty. So you adjust that for, for basically full scale. And you let go, and you go over to reflective, and I key up, and I'm seeing about 1.2. The meter in the radio switches to SWR in transmit, and that's not even showing a, a indication. So that's at 28.3. And I'm going to take it down to, say, 28.2, just inside the band. And go to forward and recheck my full scale. It's, it's OK. And there it's, uh, it's less than 1.1. And let's go up to 28.5. And we'll check it again. Go to forward. Looks good. Go to reverse. And there it's about 1.3. I'm still not seeing any indication on the radio. So the radio is, is happy. Um, this is where an antenna analyzer becomes real handy because you can check the resonance outside of the amateur band, which you can't do with a radio. Well, that wraps it up for this video. I showed you how easy it is to build a 10 meter dipole with the previous video. I showed you here how to check it out and tune it up using the MFJ analyzer. If you don't have an analyzer, you may want to consider buying one because it's a very useful piece of test gear to add to your ham radio toolkit. Also showed you how to use a little simple SWR meter to check out the antenna as well. So that's it. Um, build yourself an antenna and get on the air. Your technicians have can have a lot of fun on 10 meters. This is Randy, K7AGE. Thanks for watching. 73. CQ, 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 CQ 10 meters, CQ, CQ, CQ from Kilo 7, Alpha Golf Echo, K7AGE, Randy in Grass Valley, California, calling CQ and standing by.